Hello, dear traders. This is the weekly economic calendar presented to you by InstaForex TV. I'm Olga Vitkovska. The first half of the week is marked by a series of new macroeconomic releases. Let us review the most important of them. So, the USA will publish new data on trade balance for July. The trade balance deficit is likely to equal $44.2 billion. This is larger than the amount registered in June, $42.9 billion. In June, the deficit shrank by 11 percent. Analysts thought it would decrease by 2.5 percent to $47.5 billion. Another reason for a decline in trade balance deficit is falling oil prices and, as a result, less imports. At the same time, exports rose to the record level on keen demand for cars and manufactured goods. Meanwhile, in Spain, an inflation report for August is due for release. Economists suppose consumer prices rose by 0.6 percent month on month. A month before, the index dropped 0.2 percent and went up 2.2 percent in relation to 2011, owing to reduced medication benefits. The Spanish CPI soared to its 2012 high. The increase in the indicator came as a surprise, as July is considered to be a month of numerous sales, when prices for footwear and textile tumble. According to experts, inflation in Spain is set to keep accelerating after prices for goods rise due to a higher VAT. Moreover, on Wednesday, Eurostat will bring to public a report on industrial production for July. The indicator is projected to remain flat as compared to the previous months, and minus 3.3 percent versus last year. In June, industrial output in the currency block contracted versus the last month by 0.6 percent. Analysts expected that the indicator would drift 0.7 percent on a monthly basis. On an annual basis, industrial production in the eurozone in June slid 2.1 percent. You were watching the economic calendar for the first half of the week. Good luck in your trading.